Well, hello. When it comes to a heat mat, I would say yes, if your worm bin is outside. And on that note, um, heat mats come in a variety of sizes. So you gotta measure your worm bin and get a heat mat that's half the size of your worm bin because I want you to place that heat mat on one side of the worm bin and not on top of the whole worm bin because if something goes wrong, I don't want your worms to die. Do you follow what I'm saying? And also what you need to do is get yourself some cardboard, place that heat mat inside of the cardboard to protect your worms with an insulated barrier. And that's another thing to look into. Make sure it's waterproof. Make sure that it has a temperature control and an auto shut off when it comes to a certain temperature. Get yourself a thermometer to regulate the temperature of your worm bin. And also, when it comes to that, make sure that you have it set to at least 40 to 50 degrees because you don't need it set to 70 in the winter. You just want it to be warm enough so your worms don't freeze and your the worms are comfortable and they can still consume food scraps and make your castings throughout the winter. But here's another video right here if you want to learn, learn another option on how to keep your worms warm in the winter. See you in the next one.